Hey everyone, Kristen here, and today I am going to talk to you about cosplay, cosplay tips, how I got into cosplay, all that good stuff. As you can see, I'm behind my Christmas tree, I'm in the Christmas spirit. I got my Mass Effect N7 hoodie on, a er, sweater, ugly Christmas sweater, except it's not ugly at all. I love it, it's so comfy. Anyways, back on topic, so I'm actually going to do an entire series of these videos. These are questions that I get on a daily basis, multiple times a day. People ask me these questions all the time, and I finally decided to make a little video series that I can refer people to in the future so I don't have to keep answering them over and over and over. So we're obviously going to start this series off with the most basic question ever that people ask me all the time. It's how did you get into cosplay? So just a little bit of my background. Um, I was big into photography before I got into cosplay. Photography was like my thing. I loved making um, kind of artistic photos and I of course did lots of like geeky gamer themed photos of myself like modeling. And of course, I've always been a huge gamer my whole life, pretty much since I was four years old and able to even hold and play with a controller. I have been playing video games. So I was always a big gamer, a big nerd, all that good stuff before cosplay. Honestly, I've told this story a million times and it's not really that exciting, but I first got into cosplay back in 2013, May of 2013. It all started when I went to my first Comic-Con, basically. Now, before I went to my first convention, um, I didn't really know anything about cosplay. I had seen the word cosplay being thrown around on Twitter a little bit. I was big into social media and I had seen the word being thrown around more and more. But I didn't really like look into it or have any interest to see what it was about. I had no idea. So I went to my first convention, which was Phoenix Comic Con. I was living in Phoenix, Arizona at that time. And I was super excited to go because I heard, you know, you can find lots of like collectible toys and comics and you can meet the comic book writers and the actors, the celebrities, all those people. So I was super excited to go. When I got there, I was like blown away because there were hundreds of people dressed as all my favorite video game, comic book characters, all that good stuff. I couldn't believe it and I'm like, what is that? And uh, my friend's like, oh, that's cosplay. And I'm like, what? That's what cosplay is? And I, it just like immediately clicked with me. I was like, I have to do that. I need to do that now. <laughs> and literally from that day on, I started working on my first cosplay and I, I brought out my first cosplay two weeks after I went to Phoenix Comic Con for the first time. I had already made a cosplay. Now, it wasn't the best cosplay. I, I call this like a closet cosplay because I basically, I wanted to do Laura Croft, I knew that much because that game had just came out around that time, I believe, and the new Tomb Raider, uh, I really loved that version of Laura Croft, and so I basically just went in my closet and I put together a super simple Laura Croft outfit. It wasn't at all 100% accurate, but I did my best and that's all that matters. I literally went in my closet, I found a blue tank top, and I found a black pair of shorts, and then I went online to this like airsoft gun supplier store. I bought an airsoft pistol, which that pistol is bomb, I still have that pistol. It looks freaking amazing and real, really cool. And then I bought this fancy little leg gun holster, um, <laughs> and I did that and... Yeah, and because I was a photographer at the time, I just took my badass camera and me and my sister went out in these little woods behind the apartment we were living at at the time and we just did a little photo shoot and I made my Facebook page for the first time and put those photos up and that's where it all started. So I know that's already one question, but kind of bouncing right off of that question, the next thing people usually ask is, how can I get into cosplay? Well, it's really, really easy. <laughs> you just do it. 
I know that's probably not the answer you're really, really hoping to hear, and but I mean, I don't know what else to say. If you want to start cosplay, you just got to dive in and do it. That's all I can tell you. That's exactly what I did. I just dive right in. I picked a character I really wanted to cosplay. Even though I couldn't make the costume, I didn't have that kind of skill set yet, obviously. It was my very first one. I went in my closet and I pulled out clothes that I already had and put it together and made a costume that way. And you can do that too. There are so many resources open and available to you. There's really no excuse not to start cosplay. You can always buy a costume that's already made. Now, you can do one of two things here. You can hire a professional seamstress to make you a costume. Not gonna lie, that is gonna cost you a pretty penny. Like, we're talking, I would say anywhere from probably $500, well, Probably $500 to like $1,500 is probably going to be like the average range if you're going to commission a, a professional seamstress cosplay maker to make yourself a costume. I know that's a little expensive, but there is another option. The other option is there are literally hundreds of these online cosplay shops that are based out of like China, Japan, Korea, all of those Asian countries. Um, and they have really, really, really cheap costumes over there. Um, most things you can get from there are cheaper, as you know. So uh, especially cosplay, I know you can get like costumes starting at like $50 from one of those Asian cosplay sites. And then I think the most they would ever go up to was like maybe a couple hundred dollars, but that's really rare. Of course, the con with those um, Asian online sites is that um, they they aren't always the highest quality materials. I mean, some of them are really, really good, but then others you kind of take a risk at getting kind of a lower quality costume. Um, and that's just kind of the way it goes. I mean, you get what you pay for basically. And of course, if you are dead set on wanting to make a costume completely by yourself, which I understand, I like to make stuff um, by myself as mo most of the time, as most as I can. I like to make stuff myself, so I understand that feeling. And if you're feeling kind of like stuck and lost, where do I start? Well, my friend, Google is pretty much your best friend from now on. <laughs> Anything you're wanting to make, you're gonna be able to find on Google. Just take any character you're looking to make. Um, let's just say Ray from Star Wars. I wanna make Ray for Star Wars. Go to Google, type Ray Star Wars cosplay tutorial cosplay costume, cosplay guy, try tons of different search words, kind of mix it up, you're guaranteed gonna find something for that. Now that you have all this information and options to start your first cosplay, I wanna see you get out there and make your first cosplay too. I made my first cosplay in two weeks flat. You can do it too. I believe in you. You got this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, this will be a series. We're going to do a whole series of these and I will answer all your questions. If you have anything you're dying to know about cosplay, just leave it down in the comments below and I will try to answer all your questions. Bye!